see that how you can update this test plan in ADO from your code right so there is a commonly people ask that like how you can do it via pipeline so in this video we'll see that how via code when you run a test case called as open in edge it should update this test plan generally because management takes the report uh, from this right they go here and see the charts which you put it on the dashboard so it is important that we should know that how to do this and this is the most asked uh, question on my youtube channel like i have explained in my uh, previous video here so if you go to this playlist whose link i will be sharing so this is the last video where i have covered the concept you can go through this right so i'll just explain in one line that in adio test case is having a id but same test case is under various suit so with just test case you cannot update in ADO you need test point ID as well right so firstly we'll get the test point ID then we'll update it right so let's begin so these are the two major APIs uh, this one get test point ID and update so first one is a get request and second one is a patch request first request help us in getting the test point id which is this 10 and then we pass this in the next one right patch so here if you see that we are passing whatever we got in this so how we can do it via coding we'll see it today if you are not getting the concept just check out the previous video so that you know that what are these two apis today we'll see that in the code that how it is working so I have just created a simple test ng uh, test case in Java, write a test script. You can write it in any language. So the important uh, thing you should learn is the concept, right? So concept remain the same, even if you are using .NET or Python or anything, right? So what we are doing is I have annotated my test case with something called as groups. If you are using an unit, then it is called category. So basically it is the tagging above your script so this test case open in edge i created a similar test case in my test plan right a name can be different or anything so how they are linked is i have given this test case underscore 26 you can just give 26 as well just to make sense i have given like this so if you see other test cases are also uh, linked like this so this is the way i have given the naming convention now what i what i am doing is let me run it to show you so like once this test case is run right so yeah this is the test case open in edge i'll run it now so after the test case is run i have written an after method in which it updates the ado right so let the test case run what it will do is it will open my blog in the edge browser right nothing else similarly i have written just these are just for uh, giving you an idea right it's not that okay i have followed the best practices here this is to tell you the concept of how we can update uh, ado so it is on my other screen so so that was the test case right it just opened edge and uh, it closed edge and then it will update the if you see here starting edge browser is written over here and this is my blog it has opened now it is updating the test results okay so there are two apis get called first one is to get the test point id right because we want to know that which suit we want to update right under which that test case is there so we got 18 and then we pass that test point id and the result pass or fail and run the second api right so now if you see it is passed i'll show you whether it has updated or not so this open in edge if i click on this if you see just now because we ran that test so it is updated now let me share the logic as well so what i did here is i have created a after method right so after every test case this method would be called i have used a i listener over here right if you are using spec flow or anything else maybe there it is context which stores the result of current test case basically 
right so then what i am doing is i am trying to get that whatever tags are there on my test case in test ng you can do it via this groups right so i got all the tags that are there on my test case so what are those tags if i want to show you for now this is test case 26 that only right but i can have multiple tags as well right because i might mark this test case as regression sanity all of that right that's why i have written a logic over there in the uh, in this after method that get the test case uh, all the groups right and then i have written a small function get test case id so that i can remove the test case underscore right because i am only interested in knowing that number right that number is i think uh, 26 correct so i am interested in uh, just knowing that number 26 right so i send it out it will return me the test id now i have the test id right so we need three things to get the test point id okay so those things are here right so if you see this what i am passing is this organization and project this remains common for a organize for your project right even the plan id master test plan id this also remains same and suit id will vary like whether it is a regression pipeline right whether it is a sanity pipeline or it is some feature or sprint pipeline so these two things also generally remain static only thing is your test case id which keeps on changing with each test case right so these things we can hard code right or maybe put it in the configuration and this we can get it from pipeline variables for now i have placed this in the property file so let me show that so if you see i have created config dot properties where i have stored that what is a test plan id 20 and test suit id 33 for now i have even put pad token here right uh, so you should not check in this code if pad token is there this can be uh, these both of the things can be achieved via something called as uh, pipeline variable right that i will cover in the next video right that will come definitely soon it will not be delayed like this video right so i'll tell you that how we can get this value from pipeline variable but for now i have uh, kept it here right so coming back to our logic here right so i got the test case id from my test case which is the tag right now this test plan id and test suit id these are i like i have written in the starting a logic right you you must be having something by which you read the property right so i have uh, getting this value plan id suit id and pad token from this property file right i have created a similar url which i was showing you in postman that is shown in detail in the previous uh, video so then what i am doing is i am trying to get uh, uh, make a call right uh, this call by which i will get the uh, test point id okay so that i know that which test case to update so i'll get a response here and so i have put the response body as a string and then using that json path i am trying to get the test point id right so that i can use it in the next api so if you see that this is the id i'm trying to get right and this id would be different if you change this suit id or plan id so this would be different because as i explained that uh, a test case can be in various suit with each suit or configuration point id changes okay so that system knows ki which one to update okay after this i'm printing a test point id right and with the help of uh, this right with i think in spec flow and all this is called as as i explained context right so there it is called as context here it is uh, i here we are using this interface to get the results correct so using that i came to know that okay what is the current status of my test case because in after method i don't know right so using this i got the status now i have two things i have got the test point id i have got the status as well now i can uh, yeah but the problem here is that the status is coming as success or failure but if we see that api it does not accept success or uh, failure the second api if you see here uh, what it accepts is this that test point id which we have already got but it accepts 
टू एंड थ्री ओके वन स्टैंड फॉर आई थिंक फेलियर वन स्टैंड फॉर सक्सेस आई थिंक टू इज फॉर सक्सेस थ्री इज फॉर फेलियर सो वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इट इन टू टू और थ्री so now we have got both the things that we wanted we had the test point id we have the status right now it's time to form that structure so there are two things in that uh, results and the overall structure so if you see this is an array it is having json object which is having id which is an integer right and there is a further json object so to make it simple instead of a json string i have created a classes right so i have created a class which has id and result object and result is a different class which is having outcome right you can copy paste this code uh, from the repo that i'll share right no need to create it again so this is the test results payload which is having id and there is a further class results right which is having the outcome so in this what i am doing is i am creating the object of a class and storing the results right results object and the id right now since i told you that it is an array so i created a list and put that uh, result in this right now what i have to do is i have to make a patch call right where i am passing the basic authorization and pat token and the only difference is that here i am passing this body right if you see here sorry for this yeah if you see this i am passing this body over here and uh, it's a patch request not a get like like last time and i am printing the result as well that uh, what is the uh, result whether it passed or failed right so i have run it again and if you see that uh, test has launched open in edge right and then the update test results is getting called and it has picked up this 18 and then uh, it is printing that what is the status of the method and then it has updated right so if i see and i'll refresh this page if i again open in edge if you see 10 minutes ago i started this video and then just now it again uh, got updated as well right so hope you find it easier let me summarize it right so three things we need this pat token to call the apis in adio test plan id and suit id that we have hard coded for now but in the next video i'll tell you how to use pipeline variables to store all of these values right and then like in your base class you can get these values test plan id suit id right you can form this path parameter this full url right and the only variable would be test case id which you have put on top of your test case which you can get it using like an unit spec flow whatever way they provide to get the tagging from your method right and then you call the get id to get the test point id from the json we picked up that uh, i did not created serialization here because uh, we just wanted one value from it right so we got the test point id and now we are creating an object of this results payload and it takes an array so we created a list and we are passing that here and once i'm done so yeah so after every test case whenever you run this uh, so if you run your whole suit let me run this full suit here right it is having multiple uh, cases in it like open in edge open in chrome and let me reset all of them here let me see if i can do it fastly right so i am marking it as not applicable right so now my tests are running let's see if all of them get updated or not even if you run the pipeline also this same code right without even using the pipeline variables still it will update everything because it is calling the rest api right so hope you find this useful but let me show you this uh, i'll share this code uh, in the comments below right so you can copy paste this folder you can delete this single instance you can use the results and test results upload and in app test i have given the method of this right so hope this would be useful 
and in the next one i'll uh, make it even simpler right not simpler but yeah how to use in a proper project that where we don't because generally we don't store a pat token in the property files right here so we can put it in the pipeline variable right let me go there and if you see that you don't have to wait for your pipeline to end so as soon as any test case will be run it will be updated if you see this is pass this is pass and now my firefox browser is also open and it will mark this also as pass or fail whatever is the result so if you have any questions uh, please drop a comment i have replied to most of the comments right if you see uh, in the previous video here there are a lot of questions and all right so i have replied to each of them and some of them are having too many replies as well because people have continuously asked uh, sorry for the delay but i'll try to be making videos continuously now right so if you see starting firefox browser is also there so yeah you can optimize this code but the standard remains the same you have to call two apis first to get the test point id second to update the results so thank you for watching and please do comment if this video has helped you and you are able to do it and let me know if you want any more videos to be created thank you for watching